This is a beginner's guide to Souls RNG. The game's actually really easy when you understand it, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so first off, obviously you can roll, and I've got a good, which is good, so I'm just going to equip it. And if we go over to the Jake's workshop right here, we're going to want to go and look at the luck love. So this is the first thing we're going to want to go get. First, we're going to need gear basing. So just try to trade all your stuff for a gear base and, you know, then you can get a luck love after. Just stay on the GUI and just keep rolling until you get all of these. Like I got a common, so I'll just add a common and keep doing that until you get gear basing. By the way, I am on an alt account. On my main, I'm actually really good at the game and I have like around 1 in 6 million. Anyway, I got a gear basing, so I'll just craft it. Now I'll add it. Now I need Divinus, Crystallize and 3 rares. Wait, I just got something. This is literally like my first roll after. <laughs> yeah, okay, I just got a precious. Well, that's lucky. So I guess my ult is pretty lucky. My eighth roll and I get a precious. <laughs> well, that's good. So at least when you're trying to get the luck glove, you also might get lucky like that. By the way, what you're gonna wanna do is go over to here and make auto equip 5,000 because that's what Solar and Luna are. Also, you can go around and get these luck potions and there's also speed potions and that will help you and give you more luck. By the way, this quick roll game pass is actually really worth it and it does cost 100 Robux, so it's not too much. I do have it on my main and it skips this whole animation and just goes straight to like what you got. So if you do have enough, I recommend definitely getting quick roll. And I just got a crystallized, which is the best one I need. That's pretty lucky. Now I just need two Divinus and one more rare. I keep getting really lucky and not getting Divinus, but getting like a jackpot one in 700. So that's great for me. Once you can get the luck glove, craft it. After the luck glove, you can either get Luna device or Solo device. Depending if you get Luna or Solo first, then just get whichever one you got first. After that, you should go for the Eclipse device. And if you're somehow lucky enough and you got Exotic, then go for the Exo Corner. When you get an achievement, make sure to claim the coins down below. Once you get enough coins, you can expand your inventory space and that will be good for AFKing. There is a quest going on right now, so you might as well just go claim it and you will get something out of it. These settings do like nothing, so I recommend just not doing anything with them and you know, like your game won't even change. Let's say you were aiming for exotic, you could put it at like 90,000 on skip warning and then put auto equip to 90,000 as well. Don't worry about swap warning, it does like nothing. When AFKing, make sure to have free storage in your inventory so you don't get a full storage overnight. If you get full storage, it will start to replace things after getting more stuff. If you guys want to see more Souls RNG content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next one.